When you pull yourself to the window of a spaceship, there's this sense of reverence and awe that comes over you. You can suddenly see thousands and thousands of kilometers of the Earth, and it's laid out in complete honesty. As a kid, there's no greater friend, I think, than nature. Dad had us picking up sticks and trying to rub them together and make a fire. I lived in a tent out behind the house instead of in the house, listening to the animals at night. Je voyais jamais la même même chose parce que parfois il y a des oiseaux, parfois le ciel est rouge, parfois le ciel est rose. There's a very intimate relationship that happens between humans and the planet. It gives us everything we need from the oxygen we breathe to the water we drink to the food we eat. You know, it's a beautiful world, but I think some of us sometimes do take it for granted. What we're doing right now is short-sighted and we're causing some damage. We've experienced 150 years of a pollution-based economy. It's the age-old battle of human versus human fighting over dirt and toys. We're going to have people facing monumental hardship as a result of our refusal to tend to the environment. That's an atrocity. I'm enough of a scientist to say, I see where all the curves are going and they ain't good. But you have to have hope. If you read the news, you might think that it's all hopeless, but the minute you go outside of your own door, you'll realize that there's tons of hope out there and there's tons of people who are trying to make it happen. I think there's a tipping point happening now. We all have a responsibility to put our paddle in the water and help us navigate this modern chapter of our history. And talk to the eight-year-olds and the nine-year-olds and see the light that's burning in their eyes and the things that they hope from life and how we're enabling them to do things that were impossible for us just one generation ago. When you see that, when you see someone that's doing everything they can to protect a place they love, it creates a ripple effect. Love is the answer. Everybody has love in them. Every generation has always thought that the sky was falling. And yet, here we are. Il faut absolument agir rapidement. You know, on a team, there's, uh, there's a lot of different roles, but the ultimate thing is you, you want to win together. Why are we on the planet? Why are we on this earth if not to ameliorate the human condition? So we need farmers and we need garage mechanics, artists and writers and teachers and doctors and lawyers, everybody. The writing is all around us. We only have to open up our own hearts and minds. The world is ancient. The world is immense. The world is precious. The world is beautiful. It's not just people that are interconnected, but all the living things on the planet are interconnected. And that, that is unmistakable.